digestion and absorption so let's start with digestive system human digestive system consists of alimentary canal and with the associated glands so in the human alimentary canal that is the human alimentary canal begins with the anterior opening that is from mouth and the posterior is anus back side that is anus posterior down part top part anterior is called as mouth the mouth leads to buccal cavity or oral cavity the oral cavity has a number of teeth and a muscular tongue each tooth is embedded into a socket of joints bone jaw bones called as thicodont when it is embedded it is called as thicodont majority of mammal including human being forms two set of teeth during their life a set of temporary milk teeth or that is the deciduous teeth which is replaced by permanent or adult teeth this type of dentition is called as diphyodont when it is replaced and again it is bought it is called as diphyodont when it is embedded it is called as thicodont embedded so in an adult human so this is the uh, human alimentary system oral cavity mouth pat parotid gland sub maxillary and ma sublingual gland it is pharynx esophagus it is stomach liver gallbladder diaphragm duodenum pancreas duodenum is c shaped transverse colon ascending colon descending colon jejunum uh, it is ilium ilium is middle part cecum and colon jejunum ilium colon here cecum is there and where we from appendix this is rectum so human digestive system is this is the part so normally we have 32 permanent teeth which are of four different types that is we here called as heterodont heterodont namely we have i c p m m i c p m m incisor canine premolar molar and in which is 2 1 2 3 incisor canine in nine premolar molar the hard chewing surface of teeth is made up of enamel which has a mastic which helps in mastication of food tongue is freely movable muscular organ attached to the floor of oral cavity by free nullum the upper surface of tongue has small projection called papillae some of which bear taste buds so upper part of tongue we have papillae and these can also be called as uh, taste buds so we have up to here So it is complete first you know, alimentary canal. Then I will once revert. Total ca oral cavity. The oral cavity leads into short pharynx, which serve as a common passage for food as well as air. The esophagus and the trachea. Pharynx is a common pathway for air and food. So the esophagus and the trachea. opens into pharynx the cartilage flap called epiglottis prevents the entry of food into the glottis opening of windpipe so during swallowing uh this uh, prevents the entry of food into the glottis and uh, the esophagus is a thin long tube which extends posteriorly passing through the neck so the oral cavity leads to short pharynx which serves as a common passage for both food and air esophagus and trachea are the windpipe open into pharynx a cartilage flap called as epiglottis prevent the entry of food into the glottis yes we have seen that 
and uh, esophagus is a thin long tube which extends posteriorly passing through the neck thorax in diaphragm leads to a j shaped bag so normally it is posterior because the anterior part is going through a via trachea so the bag shaped structure is called as a stomach and this stomach is guarded by a muscular uh, sphincter that is called as gastroesophageal which regulates the opening of esophagus into the stomach and then now the stomach is located in the left portion of the abdominal cavity to your left so there are three portions cardiac fundi carbo body and pyloric so opens into upper left portion of abdomen cardiac portion to which the esophagus opens fundi region body uh, main central region pyloric is a portion uh, which opens into small intestine so we know that so uh, the small intestine starts with a c shaped structure called duodenum and next it goes into duodenum jejunum ileum and colon and now this duodenum which is opening into small intestine is guarded by a pyloric sphincter and uh, this uh, opens into ileum ileum is a large intestine So it consists of cecum, colon, and rectum. Uh, or that is, ileum opens with a large intestine. That is ileum, colon, and rectum. Cecum is a blind side which is a host of many symbiotic microorganisms. And there is also a verfiform appendix, which is a finger-like tubular projection from the cecum. And uh, it's a vestigial organ. And the cecum opens into colon. Colon is divided into three part ascending transverse and descending and which now this descending opens into an anus so the wall of alimentary canal is guarded by various layers and first is serosa muscularis submucosa and mucosa so serosa is a outermost which is made up of mesothelium mesothelium is epithelium of visceral organs with some connective tissues it means it is with some connective tissues and where when we see muscularis layer muscularis is made up of smooth muscle what we studied in the uh, cell chapter so muscularis is made up of smooth muscle then outer is circular inner is longitudinal sorry inner is circular and outer is longitudinal the outer one is longitudinal inner one is circle circle i'll show you the diagram okay an oblique muscle layer may be present in some regions. So the submucosa layer is formed of loose connective tissues uh, lining nerves, blood, lymph vessels. In duodenum, sometimes glands are present in submucosa. Normally, submucosa have nerves and uh, blood, lymph vessels, but only in duodenum it is having some glands. So the innermost lining of stomach is called as uh, mucosa this uh, mucosa in stomach it is having inner regular foldings which is called as a ryuge, but in uh, and some small finger like projections called as villi in small intestine in in small intestine it is called as villi and in in stomach it is called as a ryuge. okay the cells lining the villi produce nu numerous microscopic projection called microvilli. These uh, microvilli gives a brush border appearance to the villi. You see what we saw the modification are mainly meant for increasing surface area. So that we it absorbs a lot of uh, food particles, uh, digested food particles. Mucosa and villi are supplied with a network of capillary and large lymph vessels called as lacteals. So here the lymph vessel is called as lacteals. Mucosal epithelium has goblet cells which secrete mucus. It is helping in lubrication. Mucosa forms some glands in stomach that is called as gastric glands. Crypts in the base of villi, large intestine. Lumen, mucosa, submucosa, inner, circular, outer, longitudinal, muscularis layer, serosa. These are villi.